communist Chinese vessels laden with foodstuffs arrive at the British Crown Colony of Hong Kong. Despite widespread famine on the mainland, the Reds are continuing their food export trade. An estimated $10 million worth of food is sold in Hong Kong each month. Vegetables and canned goods from Red China line the shelves of retail stores. And there are plenty of customers for them, too. But what happens next is that the customers hurry to the post offices to mail the food in relief packages back to needy relatives in Red China. Having already collected foreign exchange money on the sale of the food, the communists now will collect import duty on the same food as it heads to destinations in the various provinces of China. The British Post Office Department handles the food packages as they would any other mail under the rules of the International Postal Union, and they're swamped with some 50,000 packages a day. Knowing that most Chinese refugees in Hong Kong have left relatives behind and will continue to share with them whatever they have, the Red Chinese regime can figure on food profits while there's famine in the land.